there. They say that insanity is doing the same thing every day and expecting a different result. And dog training is very much like that. I've met people who've spent months and longer trying to stop unwanted behaviours and they've made very little progress. People seem to think that just by doing more of the same thing with their dog will change their dog. And in some situations, repetition and classical training is all you need, as I'll show you in a second. However, very often it's simply not enough. And first you need to win your dog's mind before anything's really going to change. So in this video, I want to show you the true power of mastering leadership with your dogs, which in turn allows them to switch off and focus on you and makes them very easy to train. So this is the last video in the series and I thought I'd do something completely different. I'd share a little bit about myself, about how I work. So these are some dog training clips and tips from when we stayed in this little place by the beach here in New Zealand. So this is the beautiful countryside and this is the place we stayed. So six dogs. Um, we had a friend's dog, we had Nana's dog with us and four other dogs. And as you can see, beautiful property we just stayed in. A little batch as we call it here in New Zealand. And here's the six dogs we came away with. And as you can see, none of them are tied up here. Um, none of them are running away. There's people walking down the beach with their dogs. This is Tamar, that's Nana's dog. And uh, then we've got, over here we've got little Moses. He's a sort of two and a half year old male dog. And by his side is his younger, bigger, stronger brother, Jack. And then we've got the older matriarch, Peanut Butter, who is probably 10, 11 years old. Now, the first bit of training I thought I'd show you, there's our food set for our meal already. Well, there's the plates, and here comes the food, is basically me getting ready to feed our dog. So I thought I'd sh show you this because it's a good example of what I was, I'd call sort of being consistent, calm, and a good example of quote, quote, training, classic training. Now, this is where you just repetitiously go through reinforcing what it is you want. You'll see with my four dogs, when the bowls go down, they're pretty good at waiting for their food. But the two dogs that are not mine, both of them struggle, just that self-control is not there. So they both start eating. I think Jack starts to eat here, and I put my foot across and say, hey, Jack, move. Don't eat. Nope. He knows the rule, but what often happens is in a different setting, you know, he tests the rules. So because we don't usually feed our dogs at this beach, they're normally on the decking at our home, Jack, Jack is just not sure whether it's the same rule, and I've told him, yes, it's the same rule. So Peanut's on the right there. She's drooling already. And it's these two dogs. It's my mother-in-law's dog, dear Tamer, and, and a dog named Polly. So Polly's already eating. So I move her off. And the real, the key thing here is just this repetition. Stay calm, move her off again. So I'm kind of laughing because... Tamar's wagging a tail saying, what are we waiting for? What are we waiting for? But I really want this dog to wait. So it's no, wait. And I won't, I won't show you the full video because it goes on for quite a bit. But Polly gets there in the end. So here we go. I think I've got my four dogs. We're almost ready. I move Jack forward. Peanuts drooling. And I just keep repeating this until they finally get it. You're not going to eat until you're calm and watching me. I hold them for a few seconds and then let them go. So sometimes with your training, you do just need to stay in the zone, stay calm, not get angry and start shouting, and just repeat, 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 and your dog will get it. Here we've got some very happy dogs eating their food. Now, sometimes repetition is not enough, and you need to follow through with a negative consequence. So I'm often talking to people about calm, consistent consequences, and that's what's happening here. Dear Jack is in timeout. He'll be there. He's in the back of the ute. He'll be there for one, two, five, or ten minutes, something like that, and he'll get it. He'll understand why he's there very quickly, and he'll stop doing what he did. Now, you do need to make sure your dog is comfortable, that they're not too hot, that they're not too cold, that they've got water and they're happy. But the point is, just using timeout is a far more effective way of getting your dog to stop than just by raising your voice, shouting, and becoming angry. So just something for you to think about there. Now, these three dogs aren't in timeout, and this is another very good point. You can still use the back of the ute for them to sleep in at night. It could be their bed, or it could be like I'm doing here. Just during the day, this is another very important point, during the day, I just put the dogs in there and say, hey, just take a break, have a chill, relax. They stay there for an hour and a half, and then I take them out, take them to the bathroom, toilet, give them a run, give them a cuddle, play with them. 
So whilst it's really good that we take our dogs out for walks and exercise them, and you know, here's Jack just expressing his power in a way that only Jack can actually do. It's great that we you know, drain them of some of their energy, but it's also very important that we understand how to switch our dogs off. You know, the number of people who have dogs who are constantly following them, who are hyperactive, who are, you know, on the guard, tw on guard 24-7, 365, all the time, every noise they're barking. And that's because these dogs don't know how to switch off. Whereas my dogs here, you know, they're very good at doing what I say. When I say go, I switch them on and they're ready to go. When I say that's enough, calm down, switch off, just stay here. They're not tied up. They're, just, they're free to roam. Or most of the time they're free to roam. And they do. They just chill and relax. You can see they're not on guard. They're not on duty. They don't have to do anything. They're having a holiday just like me and the family are. And it's this balance between dogs knowing when to go, 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 have fun, and then the balance between that and them knowing when to switch off and just calm down, which makes for an amazing relationship. And this is not something you really train a dog to do through classical training. It's a way of being. It's a method. It's approach. It's a way of interacting with your dog, which will say to your dog, hey, I'm in charge of the situation. I'm in control. You can switch off. And that's where it's all about mind control. It's about winning your dog's mind first of all, and then you can train the dog's body. It's super easy to train a dog once you've won their mind, and that's something I'm very passionate about. Love to share more about that with you. So if you're interested, then, uh, yep, I'm sure you'll find ways of finding out more about what I do and how I work. Anyway, thanks for uh, being part of this uh, video series. It's been a lot of fun putting it together, and hope you've enjoyed it and got some good tips. Okay, so that's the end of the five-part series. Now, earlier I promised you that I'd tell you where you can find out more. So if you've enjoyed those videos, and if you're interested in discovering how you can take this further, then you'll be pleased to hear that I've put together a very complete and comprehensive step-by-step -step dog and puppy video-based training program that will help you stop all those unwanted dog behaviors and help you raise an amazing puppy. I won't go into the details now, only I'll say that it really is the easiest way from obedient and happy dog. So if you're struggling with dog problems, if you've maybe got a new puppy, or if you're just interested in finding out more, then click the link that's somewhere on this page and let's continue this journey that we've started together. But whatever you do, thank you for watching, love your dog, and take care.